Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly use the Teams feature on Pleb Master Forge. So what you want to do to start is go to the top right here and click on your profile. Go down to Teams. Once this loads up, you'll see this page and we'll go ahead and create a new team. We'll name the team whatever we'd like. I'll go with Test Team. You can leave down a description for whatever reason. If you're trying to do a specific uh, team for a specific reason, you can put down here. We'll put uh, just testing and we'll hit create team. Now our team has been created. We can click on our team here. It'll open up our team page and here we can manage our team as we wish. If we scroll down here, we can see that there is shared licenses, shared data lists, and also shared uh, advertisements. Obviously, you can read all of these and kind of tell what they do, but what we'll be focusing on today is the shared license. We'll be going over the shared data list in another video, which will be annotated at the top right or down in the description. Before we jump into the shared license, we'll go ahead and invite somebody. And by somebody, I mean my second account, which would be this. We'll search it. And here is my second account. Once I hit the invite button, it'll say it has been invited. And then also we can go ahead and see that it is pending here. Below this, on this drop down, we can click on these different roles and what they do. You can take a second to read these yourselves, but basically um, they just have a little bit more power and the manager here will be able to give licenses and so on and assign stuff like that. So if you want somebody to be a manager of your team, feel free to go ahead and do that here. Now switching to the other tab for the other user that's just been invited. Simple enough, they'll go ahead and click again on the Teams page. And here you'll see that our test team is now here and they can hit accept. If we open up the Teams menu here, you'll see um, who is under what category. Obviously we don't have any shared licenses yet or shared data lists. So there will be nothing here, but I'll show you guys in a moment here how to share things. Going back to my other previous account, we'll go ahead and go to my licenses here. You'll see that we have one active subscription. If we click on this, we can share it with the team down here. What we'll do is we'll click on this drop down and we'll click on our test team. And just like that, the license has been assigned to the, uh, to the test team. And then additionally here, the assigned to, we can click on this drop down and then we can decide who to assign it to. Obviously there's myself and the other account that I have here, which is Yanny MT. If you want to go ahead and assign it to that person, which we will do in this case, we'll click assign. It'll tell us exactly what is going down and it's going to be locked to that user. We'll go ahead and hit confirm. And that will be this license tied to that um, user. Now switching to the other user's perspective. If we go to licenses, we'll see that we have a license that was shared by a team. And if you hover over it, you'll see what team and we can click on it. And just like that, this account can now assign its own hardware ID and then download the license. All of this is done like normal. And if you are wondering how to assign your license or your hardware ID to this license, there'll be a link in the description or an annotation at the top right of the video right now to show you guys a video on how to do that. If we go ahead and click on this testing team again, You'll notice that you'll see all of the shared licenses and all the shared data lists here. Shared advertisements is something else that we can cover in another video. But basically, if you would like to advertise on Pleb Master Forge, you can go ahead and do that here. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Or additionally, you can join the Pleb Master Forge Discord and ask in the support channels for clarity on these topics. I hope this video was informative and have a great rest of your day.